All right, welcome to Talk and Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. I want to do my daily briefing today on a summary of some of the stuff that I'm looking at today in the market. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. And of course, smash the like button. Feel free to drop a comment below and you will see a link to our Discord in the pinned comment. And just so that everybody knows, our gold members in the Discord, which is only $5, get access to this video first thing in the morning. So that's one of the benefits of membership. However, we do have a free level of membership if that's all you're interested in. So we'd love to have you join us. There's several Chinese stocks that are doing very well this morning. And the Chinese government has indicated that they are going to send some of the necessary paperwork on all these companies for them to be in compliance with some SEC regulations and demands on transparency. So as a result, you know, I've picked NEO here, they're up 5.6%. Xpeng is up 4.86%. Li Motors is up 5.81%. But there's some even bigger movers than that. DD Global, which if you remember was an absolute fiasco when it came out, is up 21% today. So this really got a jump from the news. Also companies like Alibaba, Alibaba's up 6% right now. So across the board, the Chinese stocks seem to be getting a bump from this news. I would just be careful on the Chinese EV stocks because they've already taken a nice run up. So I just wanna put that on everybody's radar. And again, none of this is financial advice. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm looking at in the market and some of the big stories that are going on right now. Next, I just want to go back to an old favorite, GameStop. GameStop is back on the radar. GameStop is up 13% today. This is another big day up. So this is another one I want to caution everybody. GameStop's up about 125% in the last two and a half weeks. So if you are noticing GameStop and you're seeing some big gains, they may continue for all I know. But just understand, we're already 125% into this run. So I would be careful with GameStop as well. Two EV companies I wanna mention, and they used to be kind of related. They both have some big problems that they're dealing with. Both of their stocks are on the rebound quite a bit. So I just wanted to let everybody know. Workhorse, stock ticker WKHS, and Ride, stock ticker RIDE, are both up close to 70%. Now with today's action, they're up about 65% in the last two or three weeks. So they have taken a big run up. So although they're pulling back a little bit today, I'm not sure this is a buying opportunity because they're pulling back 3% off of a 70% run up. So I just wanted everybody to be aware of those two as well. Again, not financial advice. I'm just trying to let you guys know what's going on. Another company I'm looking at that I have done several deep dives on, so you can check those out if you wanna learn more about this company, is Beam. Technically, they're an EV charging company, but they also are a solar company because they're an off-grid charger that uses solar panels. They announced earnings a couple of days ago and they have been on a tear. They're up, they're up close to 40% in the last week. So, so this company, for me personally, I do hold this company in full disclosure and I may be adding to this position because it looks like their stock has gotten healthy. This stock got beat up. It went in the last 52 weeks from $43 down to as low as $10. You know, just outside of the 52 week period, this was a $70 stock not too long ago. So it's just starting to get back to a healthy range. It's up big again today. So I will probably wait and see if there's a pullback and an opportunity somewhere to jump in but this thing seems to be off to the races. The other sector I wanted to talk about was the Bitcoin miners. There's a few things going on there today that I wanted to bring everybody's attention to. CleanSpark had a huge press release yesterday and they've had a positive reaction on it. Bitcoin's had a rough run this week, so you know it hasn't taken off, but I will be doing a deep dive video on CleanSpark. They had a massive press release and in my opinion, that is going to lead to continued up moves. CleanSpark has outpaced all the other Bitcoin miners all year in 2022 so far. And, and with this new news, I think they will continue to do so. So again, please remember, this is not financial advice. I'm just letting you guys know where my head is at and what's going on. Greenish Generation stock ticker GREE, -E, they announced their year end results for 2021. And they also gave some insight into where they are as of the end of March in 2022. So this was a gigantic catch up for them. They've been sparse on information. So this was a big information dump. 
I thought it was pretty good on my preliminary look through. Right now they're sideways. So I will be doing a deeper dive on this one as well, but I wanted to make everybody aware they did just catch their information all the way up. And lastly, I wanted to look at BitFarms. BitFarms, on the first of the month, they have put out their production for last month. So that is their new deal. They are gonna be putting out their previous month's production on the first day of the month. We don't have to wait long to see how BitFarms did. And their production and operation numbers were fantastic this month. So the amount of Bitcoin they mined went up dramatically. And you can see so far today, a very small move on BitFarms. And BitFarms has had a big pullback over the last few days. So again, if you want to check it out, you know, the, the monthly update's pretty short. I'll also probably be doing a video on it. So that's what I'm looking at for today. Again, this is kind of an overview that I want to give every day. So I'm just kind of calling this my daily briefing. If you guys enjoy this and you think it's useful, please let me know in the comments. And also, once again, if you want early access to this video, you can join the Discord for free and you can get early access to this video for our $5 a month membership. That's what I'm going to be looking at today. You can look for a few more videos to come out. I'm probably going to get two more videos out today. And I will be live streaming today at 430 with George. For those of you who know the channel, you know who George is. So we will see you guys live at 430 on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.